Okay. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to talk about here is uh, boils and carbuncles. These are very f uh, similar to pimples, but there's a slight difference. Next slide. Okay, so a boil is a painful pus-filled bump that forms under your skin when bacteria infect and inflame one or more of your hair follicles. A carbuncle is a cluster of boils that are connected and uh, from f that that's connected form a connected area of infection under the skin. So the main difference here between pimples and boils, I don't think pimples is the scientific name. I'm not sure though. Is that the the boils are under the skin, are infected area under the skin that um, infect the hair follicles, and then pimples are just problems with the hair follicles itself. Uh, boils usually start as red tender bumps. The bumps quickly fill with pus. Uh, growing larger and more painful until they rupture and drain. So just like pimples. Um, areas most likely to be affected are the face, back of the head, back of the neck, armpits, thighs, and buttocks. Just as you can see, these are the examples of uh, boils. This, yes. <laughs> Symptoms. So as this, I've already covered this. Um, they start actually really painful bumps, not really, I mean, painful bumps. Um, and then they tend the, the, the they get filled with pus and until they become whiteheads and, um, they, they drain and pop by themselves. Um, uh, yeah, that's enough. I think next, uh, slide. What causes this? It is a bacterial infection. Um, I'm not going to try to pronounce that, but that's the, that's the name of the bacteria um, that causes the, the boils. Um, it is commonly found on the skin and inside the nose. So it's used by the body. So, But the problem is it's when it becomes um, infectious. Boils sometimes develop at sites where the skin has been broken by a small injury or insect bites that give the bacteria easy entry. So that's why the face is actually a common place for boils. It's because there's the you like every time you touch your face, rub your face, um, it has an easy entry point for the bacteria and the opening of the skin. And which is just the next slide. Um, next slide. Uh, rarely uh, the oh. complication happen. Oh. Oh, it's not down. I thought it's. I right, continue. <laughs> okay. As I said, which is the next point. Do not pop it. Um, th there's many reasons, but I mean, the first of all, it is bacteria. So you get it on your fingers, you touch another part of your face, or you touch another person, um, that may be infected. Second of all, it becomes an opening in your skin. And what's. It ha it ha you have an opening in your skin, um, there it can be entered for even more bacteria. So popping it is could be really bad, and it could actually develop infections more. So don't pop your pimples and boils. I think there are some kinds of creams that you can use to reduce the infection. Put it on the uh, on the carbuncle or boils. Yeah, there's. Um, and it's important to sanitize the area after it pops naturally. Do not pop it after it pops naturally. Uh, the, it's important to sanitize the area so and make sure that n no extra bacterium enters the, the opening. Um, and again, I prefer hygiene and cleaning your face, sanitizing your face rather than using um, creams and gels. But that's your personal opinion. Uh, comes down to you. So, uh, rarely the complication happens. Bacteria from a boil or combo can enter your bloodstream and travel to other parts of your body. The spreading infection, commonly known as blood poisoning, can lead to infections deep within your body, such as your heart and bone. 
Anyone, including healthy people, can develop boils or carbuncles. The following factors can increase your risk. Close contact with a person who has a staph infection. You're, most li you're more likely to develop an infection if you live with someone who has a boil or carbuncle. Diabetes. This, this disease can make it more difficult for our body to fight infection, including bacterial infections of your skin. Other skin conditions because they damage your skin's protective barriers, skin problems such as acne and eczema make you uh, more susceptible uh, to boils and carbuncles and compromised immunity. If your immune system is weakened for any reason, you're more susceptible to, bo uh, to boils and carbuncles. It's not always possible to, pre to prevent boils, especially if you have a weakened immune system, but the following measures may help you avoid staph infections. Wash your hands regularly with mild soap, or use an alcohol-based hand rub open. Careful hand washing in your is your best defense against germs. Keep wounds covered. Uh, keep cuts and uh, abrasions clean and covered with sterile dry bandages until they heal. Avoid sharing personal items. This is important. Don't share towels, sheets, razors, clothing, uh, athletic equipment, and other personal items. Uh, staph infections can spread via objects as well as from person to person. If you have a cut or sore, wash your towels and linens using deter detergent and hot water with added bleach and dry them in a hot dryer.